Number eight, solutions of hydrogen in palladium may be formed by exposing PD metal to H2 gas. The concentration of hydrogen in the palladium depends on the pressure of H2 gas applied, but in a more complex fashion than can be described by Henry's law. Under certain conditions, 0.94 grams of hydrogen gas is dissolved in 215 grams of palladium metal, and then they give us the solution density of 10.8 grams per centimeter cubed. And then for this question, we have to determine the percent by mass of hydrogen atoms in this solution. So the first thing I'm just going to uh, do is put a slash here, because density should always be grams divided by the volume. But now, let's get on with it, shall we? So we want to find the percent by mass of hydrogen in this solution. So, percent by mass formula, any time that you have a percent, remember it's always just a fancy way of saying part over whole. So in this case, our percent by mass would be specifically of the hydrogen atoms. Now, hydrogen atoms, if we're talking about it in terms of atoms, we can only have a single element. So when you're talking about atoms, we're only supposed to be talking about the one element, which is H. So we're trying to find the percent of H in the solution, which is just part over whole. Now if it's percent by mass, that means that the mass has to be on the top and the bottom. And the unit for mass is grams. So this would be grams of the hydrogen divided by the solution grams, and remember, it's a, it's a fraction, so it's part over whole. So it's the total grams. And just know that total grams is the grams of a solution, because the solution is the all-encompassing, uh, you know, substance in this case. A solution is made up of a solute plus a solvent. Solvent. So you got three S words here. Um, and in this case, you have 0.94 grams of the hydrogen gas is being dissolved in 215 grams of the palladium metal. The total grams would be the addition of these two pieces. So in this case, the grams of the total solution would be the grams of the hydrogen gas, which is H2. Now I have to put a two here because hydrogen is a diatomic, right? As a molecule, hydrogen is one of your diatomics, so it's gotta be H2, but they also kinda give you a little hint over here that it's gonna be H2, plus the grams of the palladium. So. We can find this total mass out by just doing uh, 0 0.94 grams from the H2 plus the 215 grams of the palladium. So I have a total grams of the solution. The total mass is 215.94 grams. Total grams of solution. Okay. Now, Let's just finish up the formula, right? Remember, it's always part over whole, but then we have to times by 100. Now, keep in mind that the 0.94 grams is the H2. We want just the grams of all the atoms of hydrogen, not of the molecule. So before I try to solve this problem, I first have to take my 0 0.94 grams of H2 and see how many grams of just hydrogen I have. That's the atoms. This is not an atom, that's a molecule. But if I wanna go from grams to one thing to grams of another thing, I just have to go to, um, we'll, we'll just do the um, grams to moles to moles to grams, right? Let's find out the moles of H2, then I can get the moles of H, and then I can find the grams of H. So, in this case, 0 0.94 grams of H2, this is going all the way back to stoichiometry, 
right? Grams of H2 on the bottom, mole of H2 up top. One mole of H2, this is from the periodic table, will equal whatever the mass is. There's two hydrogens, and on my periodic table, it looks like one hydrogen is 1.008. Uh, 1 so if I just take that and I times it by 2, I get 1.016. So 1.016. And the grams of H2 cancel. Now, let's just keep going. Moles of H2 on the bottom now, because I want to get out of the molecule, and I just want to get to just the hydrogen. So in my whole H2, if I have one H2 molecules, how many hydrogens are there? Yeah, there's two hydrogens. So for every one whole molecule inside of that, there's two hydrogens. And then, if we just keep going, we can go to grams, moles of H2, on the bottom, gram, oops, sorry, moles of H on the bottom, grams of H up top, and back to the periodic table, one mole of H equals the 1.008. And I just realized that this was two, supposed to be 2.08. Did anybody catch that? Is anybody screaming at me? <laughs> I heard ya. Okay, now we can uh, basically just do the math. But it looks like think we have the same number, right? Because if we do this math, 0 0.94 divided by 2.016 times 2 times 1.008, you get the same number. So in this case, it is the same, but it's always good to um, just do the math out just to make sure. So this is going to be the 0 0.94 grams. And now we are ready to do our percent. The percent of the hydrogen atoms is 0 0.94 divided by the total, which was 215.94. And let's find out that percent of hydrogen. So this number divided by 215, whoop. Oh boy, 215.94 times by 100. Whoa, not even 1%. 0 0.44%. That's a small solute. But that's the percent by mass of the hydrogen. I mean, the hydrogen is the smallest uh, element, right? So if we're just finding out the hydrogen, especially with palladium, uh, yeah, you're going to have a pretty small percent. But I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for coming to this video, and thank you for checking out the channel. Uh, we also have physics and math videos on the channel as well, uh, with more subjects coming your way in the future. We have a couple of things planned, uh, so always just check back to see what's new, what's new and exciting. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Always keep learning, and keep working with these videos, okay? That's how you're going to get better on your tests and quizzes. And I will talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.